my good friend Coach Mike is here to help us get to the bottom of what Dean's obsession uh, really is about and what was revealed in this psychodrama. We've looked at it together. And you were there. You felt the vibe in the room. What do you think is driving this? Why is he doing what he's doing? I think you're doing this to avoid life, avoid reality. I think you're having a hard time having compassion and empathy for others and living in their shoes. I think you have a hard time living in Shirley's life. Um, there's a lot of woe is me, I've been scammed, instead of I'm Dean, here's my power, I need to be a dad, I need to be a husband. You're hiding behind a fantasy, hoping that this fantasy can come to life. And so your emotions, your happiness, your attachment is all related to the fantasy because you don't want to live your life. See, I, I think he's exactly right. And I, I saw that in watching this because I don't think you really believe you're talking to Miranda Lambert because you're a logical guy. First off, I think you're a nice guy. I mean, I don't think you're an evil guy. I don't think you're somebody that's gonna be climbing over the fence and trying to get in your bedroom window. But I do think you are in love with the idea of being in love with somebody glamorous. And it keeps you from having to deal with what you consider to be the mundaneness of your own life. And it's an indulgence. And, and every minute you're spending there, you're not spending with your daughter, you're not spending with your grandkids, you're not spending with your wife, you're not spending doing the things you need to be doing. Growing up in, in my family, I don't feel that I was um, as loved. So I don't know if this plays a part of that. We're products of our learning history. There's no question about that. And so if you feel like you've been cheated in some ways, then you can fill that up on the other side. Mike, you talk in Best Self about being your best self, not being your anti-self, but you also talk about seven spheres of functioning that we go through in our life. And, and this covers every aspect of life whether it's social, personal, health, education, relationship, employment, and spiritual. And when we look here um, at what Dean was just talking about, if you look at the spheres here, if you look at social, personal, and relationship, these are all areas that are really out of balance for Dean. Would you agree? His tank is running pretty empty in those departments. And when that happens, we try to fill the void. Scammers find victims they can prey upon. You know, you see some of these scammers that will be writing romantic letters and you'll look at their grammar because English is the second language for it and it will say things like, I love you heart best, honey. And you go, what? And we've actually talked to some of these scammers and we say, why do you not fix that? You've got a computer with spell and grammar check on it. Just go up under tools, click, hit spell and grammar check. It'll fix that for you. You know what they say? They say, we don't fix it on purpose because if we find somebody that will overlook that, we know we've got a live one. If you start calling them out from day one, minute one, they just move on. You've been hit six times. You should ask yourself, really, if I've been victimized six times here, what is it about me that makes me vulnerable to that? And how can I feel that in a healthy way? And I'm going to tell you, Robin really taught me about this early in our marriage. If you have an emptiness in your life, be it spiritual or relationship or love, she said the best way to fill that up is to give away what you need the most. To give away what you need the most. And giving it away fills you up the fastest. True? So true. If you give what you need, you get that feeling. You, you, you really are not thinking about what you're lacking you're actually celebrating what you're giving. You're giving it to others who are needing it, and you have that same feeling.